Hi everyone, welcome back to Paper Flourish Craft Videos. My name is Julie. We've got something different today um, in our craft video and this is something we would really love everybody to get involved in. Journaling has become really popular. We love it. It's, it, it's, can be you it just makes you feel good doesn't it yeah so it doesn't matter whether you're having a good day bad day you just pick up that journal create and it makes you feel good the other thing that always makes us feel good is lavinia lavinia stamps they're beautiful stamps um so we would like you to get involved in a journaling challenge so what I'm planning on doing is doing a series of journal pages and I've decided to use the beautiful Lavinia sentiments as our inspiration. So there are no, there's no rules, no nothing. We just want you to get involved. So today I'm going to create my page, um, but I would really love you to create your own pages and then send us in a photo uh, to inquiries at paperflourish.com.au. Email address, I will put that as well in the description for the video. Uh, send them in. We'd love to do a compilation of your beautiful pages and pop them up on our Facebook site. Um, would be anonymous. We won't put names on, but we would love you to get involved in this challenge. I've decided to use this gorgeous Stamperia mixed media journal as my Lavinia journal. These have just arrived in store this week. We've had a huge week of deliveries at Paper Flourish. Uh, the, when the boxes arrive, our beautiful Margaret, um, who works at Paper Flourish and takes classes, her, one of her roles in the store is that she unpacks the boxes and ticks everything off and, and gets it all ready. So she's been one busy lady this week. We've had so many different deliveries that have arrived, um, but she loves doing that. So And we, we do our best to stay out of it and let her just do her job. Um, but we're also always keen to see what new things have arrived in store. So one of the things that arrived this week was this gorgeous journal from Stamperia. They've just released a beautiful range of journals we now have them all in store um, and this one here something a little bit different it does have a ring binder it's got the elastic to hold it together and it's got 80 pages all together a good quality paper okay that's in this your uh, mixed media paper so a good quality so paper just to work on especially for your stamping and ink blending and things I think this paper is going to work really well we're going to find that out today together now this beautiful journal has eight different style of pages in it see how they've got a print on them and there's eight different designs um, but the print's in the background so it gives you a lovely background to work from this has got some nice cracks on it this has got some word. I like that one. That's got some wording in the background. What else have we got here? This one's a little bit. It's just got some little bit of texture in the background. This one that looks like wood. That's pretty cool. Look at this one. Oh, so these are your background background pages. This one here. I like that with the postmarks and the writing, and a little bit of a like darker color to work on. Something a bit different. So we're going to be playing with this in our in Lavinia journal videos. Now the great thing about this is you can take these rings apart and take the page out and then pop it back in. So you don't have to actually work in the journal. And that's what I've done. I've chosen a page for today which is this one, and I've chosen the one with just that little bit of texture in the background. I'm kind of wishing I'd chosen the one with the words, but maybe that'll be next time. Now, the challenge sentiment this time is one of the newer sentiments, don't forget to fly. So I, I, we would love to see your pages that are inspired by this beautiful sentiment, okay? And that's going to be my inspiration today. I have no idea what I'm going to do. On this journal page, we are just going to do it and we're and we're going to do it together. So I'm just going to get another piece of paper because this is quite a decent sized page to work on. All right. So I'm going to start with an inky background. We'll add some nice stamping to it, maybe a little bit of glitter along the way. Um, I'll use mainly probably Lavinia products, but I might bring some other products in as well. We'll just see what happens. So there's our beautiful sentiment. So let's pop that up there so we don't forget our inspiration. Don't forget to fly. Um, don't forget to fly. Soar. Yeah, do whatever 
you dream of just let it happen um we've been we've had a few interesting years haven't we the last few years so it's nice now that we can get out there and live our dreams again uh so the two colors funny is i went over to my inks and i really wanted to go pink and purple and then these two colors spoke to me lime punch and bermuda so i went no nope, we're going with these so i'm going to start by adding some lime punch this i love this color it's strong it's it's amazing now i'm going to get one of the biggest stencil brushes to work with very very inky color so we'll pick a bit of that take a bit off here and i'm just gonna i'm just gonna start to add some color to my page i'm thinking of going sort of around around the corners around the edges but maybe leave the middle sort of free to start actually i've changed my mind already i kind of like the way this is working as a corner so i'm thinking we're just going to keep on going with that so I've tried to think of things, pick things that just spoke to me, thinking of that sentiment. And I'm thinking of doing this corner as well. I so said, we're just going to let it happen. There's no right or wrong in craft. Just be inspired and do what feels right for you. Just be in the moment and create. I've been making a few videos today. Uh, Murphy's made an appearance in both of them so far so we'll see if he comes in um, for this one so I'm thinking we might just go with that let's pop that back on the lid back on lime punch now the stencils I went over to my Lavinia stencils and this is the one that to me spoke to me um, in the theme of the sentiment and this is the lovely feather leaf stencil one of the most popular stencils at paper flourish so i'm going to get the bermuda which is another beautiful color in the elements series and we're going to get a stencil brush again i'll just use the same one i'll take that ink off ink it up i'm going to place i'm just going to go very light i've taken a fair bit of that bermuda off the brush i'm going to place the stencil over what i've just inked and we're going to go lightly with the Mabuda. So I don't want to go too heavy. So we're bringing in a bit of a darker colour. Ooh, look at that. Nice. Well, I thought so anyway. Hopefully you do too. Let's have a look. And again, just take most of it off. So I'm just going to come in very lightly. These stencil brushes are the best. Go Lavinia. I love working with them. And let's take that away. So that's given us a really nice, um, some nice ink blending onto our page. The two colours, don't they work well? When you're doing something like this, go your lighter colour first and then your darker colour afterwards with your um, stencil. All right. Now the stamp to me, which to me just, she just to me screams, don't forget to fly, is the beautiful Celeste. Here she is. So I want her to be the main stamp on the page. And I'm thinking of placing her, for example, somewhere like here, right in the middle. She's just stunning, isn't she? She's free. She looks absolutely free in the moment. Um, she is flying. So I'm going to pop her onto an acrylic block. You could pop her onto, these are my Lavinia acrylic plates. You could put her in, you do her in your stamp, you could pop her in your stamp press at this point if you wanted to. I'm just going to pop her on the plate, ink her with your Nocturne Versifying Clear, the black ink. I'm going to stamp her right in the middle, right in the middle of the page. Her hair, everything about her is just striking. So let's press that down, let the ink settle into the page. I could have dried the page before I did this. Just didn't do that. All right, there she is. So she's there's our beautiful Celeste on the page. Gorgeous. Okay, now what do we do from here? Okay, now we've had some really, really pretty 
um, foliage stamps that have arrived in the shop. And I saw our lovely Margaret did something absolutely beautiful. Um, on She was away for a craft weekend and she used these two stamps and it looks stunning. So thank you, Margaret. I have taken your idea because I just thought it was absolutely beautiful what you did. And I'm going to use, use your idea in my journal page. And we're going to use these two stamps to add some foliage to the bottom of our page. The stamp I'm using is called leaf spray and said so it comes with these two beautiful beautiful stamps so let's get my i'm going to use my look at the thin block i'm going to use this um, acrylic plate really handy with a long thin stamp i'm starting with the taller stamp and i'm going to do this in ooh, what color i'm going to go monarch so now we might get a bit of purple happening now let's ink up Monarch. Monarch, ink up the stamp. Okay, so just get a little bit on the plate there. And I'm going to stamp this beautiful leaf spray along the bottom of the page. We'll have some longer, we'll have some fainter. Ink it up. Pretty good, delicate stamp, isn't it? Beautiful. So we're just going to add a whole lot of lovely foliage at the base of the car of the page. Okay, so that's our monarch. So that's with the taller one. Then we're going to get the smaller stamp in the leaf spray. Just pop that one back on there the smaller one and we're going to add some other color amongst that which one are we going to use now i think i'm going to bring in just a little bit more green nice dark green rainforest versifying clear so let's bring that in go and same thing i'm just going to stamp it randomly amongst the purple foliage pretty pretty stamp so thank you margaret for that lovely idea it's like a beautiful little forest of greenery there we go hey okay, what are we going to do next I'm just deciding as I go. So don't forget to fly. So I picked up a few other beautiful, beautiful um, stamps. I'm not sure what I'm going to use, but I did grab these. These are the Molted Wing Set. So I thought I just thought of having these wings just floating around the page. So I think that's what I'm going to do. That's my small plate. A few of those. Here we go. Another gorgeous little set. Comes with the three different wings. So we're going to get a few different colours of Versafine Claire. I might go with Purple Delight. Nice pinky purple colour. And we'll bring one in here. We're just going to float some wings around the page. Me. We want to be full of wings, but a little bit's nice. Let me bring that one down like that. And that's Purple Delight. What other colour can we use? We've got three different wings here to choose from. There's a little bit of purple. This is where my pinks and purples are coming in, I think. Charming pink. Let's do it. See, I was going to have a, a pink and purple day. It just was with the stamping and not the background. So where are we going to pop this pretty one? Down here. These are cute, these wings, aren't they? One up there. So just encourage you, just 
do what makes what makes you feel good what you think is is right for you there is no right or wrong in craft and then which one haven't i used this pretty one so what color am i going to go with here fantasia let's go with a slightly brighter purple sure where to put it let's do one up here so now it's coming quite nice dark purple hmm. maybe we'll bring one just over in here i think that might be it i think we're just going to add those so now we've got some wings flying around as well beautiful celeste free and flying in the middle There we go. I'm going to add my sentiment before I forget. That would be good, wouldn't I? Put everything else on and we won't put the sentiment on. Not that you have to, of course. Don't forget to fly. I'm going to get rainforest, the dark green. What's going on in that? Where are we going to pop that? Have I left any room? Just up here, I think, amongst all of the wings flying around. Here we are. You could add any words to this that you wanted to. It is a gorgeous sentiment, though, isn't it? Don't forget to fly. I think I've said that now about 50 times in this video. Apologies for that. All right. So we've got our page. What else am I going to do? We got these gorgeous rubber on transfers in the store. These are Stamperia, so I think I might use some of those. It's randomly around the page. Let's have a look. Where's my scissors gone? There they are. Let's cut there. I think I might go with the swirly ones. I was looking at them going, which one's flying? It's definitely this middle one. So let's just some of these I always find it easiest with rub on transfers just to cut out what you're working on what you're working with rather than trying to do the whole sheet so I'm going to cut out this whole strip here of the swirly rub on transfers and I might just cut apart some of them probably won't end up using all of them but that gives us a few to play with I find it really easy to use a scoring tool to apply your transfers so we're going to add just a little bit of these swirlies swirly whirlies onto the page yeah I like that a bit here along with the beautiful black borders that we're using we also got the white writing transfers they're stunning so useful all right, a little bit up here flying around under the sentiment. And this is not planned. I'm just going with it today. Where should we pop a little bit over here? And maybe a little bit over there. How easy is that? Oh, that one missed. What do I do? I'll add that here. There we are. So now we've got a little bit more flying around. Do I need any more? I don't think so. I think I might save the rest of those for another project. Now, Lavinia. We can never have Lavinia. You never leave Lavinia without a little bit of sparkle on it. So I could go with the, I've got the holographic glitter here. I also picked up the Stickles gel. So I think I might use some of this. Uh, they're really sticky gel, beautiful and sparkly, and this is going to add an absolutely gorgeous sparkle. Now, the one I've picked up is, can't actually see that, that's a good one. I will pop it in the, the names on here are really hard to see. No, there's too much gold shimmering away at me. 
have a look in the comments uh the the description i will put it in the in the description exactly which stickles gel this is you can see that it's full of glitter and stars and gorgeous stuff best to apply it just a thin layer now i'm going to get the feather leaf stencil i've got my metal um palette knife and i'm going to add some little sparkly patches of this gel gooey sparkly gorgeousness and i'm just very very thin layer look can you see that look at the sparkle same same um stencil that i've used before and i'm going to add a little few pots of that a few little patches of sparkle onto onto the page that's pretty i'll add a little bit down here amongst the foliage as soon as you finish using this gel wipe it off your stencil straight away because it will stick like glue but it's so worth it because it's just stunning this product putting a little bit amongst the foliage i think that could be pretty there we go maybe a little bit up the top here just maybe flying above the sentiment hopefully you can see that okay Do we need any more? I think that might be enough. So I'm just going to straight away give that a quick clean over with the baby wipe. It'll come off no problem at all at the moment. But if you let that stuff stick onto, onto um, the stencil, it becomes a lot harder to remove it. So that's got it off straight away. Beautiful, stunning product. Comes in lots of different colours. Guaranteed to add sparkle and to everything so i'm going to leave my page there i think no i'm not i'm going to do one more thing i've decided and that is celeste needs some sparkle on her wings so i'm going to add my quickie glue pen sakura quickie glue pen best thing to apply your glitter with i'm going to add just a couple of random dots through her beautiful wings there holographic glitter this is a Lavinia product. Pick a tiny bit up in my fingers. Now I'm going to be careful shaking this off that it doesn't go all over the gold. I probably should have done this before I did my stenciling, but never mind. We're just going with it today. And then I'm going to shake that off, give it a flick. And now Celeste has got these beautiful sparkly wings. So this is my Don't Forget to Fly Lavinia journal page, which will go in my beautiful new Stamperia mixed media journal. Uh, we're going to do a series of these as I said just picking up a sentiment and going going with it just working with those beautiful Lavinia sentiments so please if you would like to we would love to see your page for don't forget to fly okay so if you if you're able to work uh, make your own page you can copy mine send us in a photo and we would love to put that compilation together on our facebook thank you very much for watching and joining me today um, enjoy your lavinia enjoy your craft just enjoy creating and being you have a wonderful day everyone and i'll be back again soon thank you so much Bye bye